the festival of the first fruits. And I will, I will be the leader, and I will read, and then would you respond as well? And here this is from Deuteronomy 26, and it's a passage where the Lord, this is a festival, and, and the festivals of the Jews were to help remind these people of what God had done through all the centuries. We, we have a festival whenever you celebrate communion. It's a festival of remembering what Jesus Christ has done for us. We are forgetful people. And so this first festival of the first fruits is to help us remember the goodness of God. So let us begin the festival of the first fruits. When you come into the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance and have taken possession of it, and live in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground which you harvest from your land that the Lord has given you, and you shall put it in a basket, and you shall go to the place where the Lord God makes his name to dwell. And you shall go to the priest and say to him, I declare this day to the Lord your God that I have come into the land which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall make response for the Lord your God and say, And you shall set the gift down before the Lord and before and worship before your God. And you shall rejoice in all the good which the Lord your God has given to you and to your household and to the others who dwell with you. And now uh, we would like to offer to you a traditional Thanksgiving hymn.
now we're going to come to a time where the, the first fruits are going to be brought forward. And then after that, we're going to ask all of you, we'll start on this section and go from section to section, of, of bringing forth that which is important to you, that which you're thanking the Lord for, and, and your tithes and your offerings. For those who are visitors here today, um, you are prepared. Um, but to just receive, you can stay in your pew and not worry about coming forward. Unless there's something in your heart, you can just come forward. That's a sign of thanksgiving. And then return to your seat. But we'll take section by time. And so now, let us begin the festival of first fruits. Thanksgiving for God. Symbols of the harvest. symbol of abundance and prosperity. And the flowers, the beauty of God's creation, that even dot highways, that grow in our garden, the beauty of God's color, the rainbow, sun dot, the beauty of the Lord Jesus. Even the beauty of his coming body on the cross. The beauty of our salvation. Thank you, Father. And now let's offer ourselves to the Lord, our tithes and our offerings, and that which is significant. So I'm going to ask for this, for whoever is comfortable to come forward, and present your gifts and leave them at the altar. And at the end of this, just come forward when we're finished the service. Come forward and see what people want. So with this section, come forward now and leave your offering at the altar. This section, whoever is comfortable, come forward and leave, leave your gift and thanksgiving.
Can the this section come forward, please? And finally, with this section come encourage you before you leave this place of worship to come and see the, the photographs and the gift that have been given us. It's very, very meaningful and very touching. So um, let, let us pray and dedicate this to the Lord. Fathers, we heard in Psalm 116, how do we render thanks for all the goodness that you've given to us throughout all of our lives, moment by moment, but, Father, we do lift up our cup of salvation. And, Father, I see how people came down the aisles, Father, with their cup of salvation overflowing, and some were empty waiting for you to fill it. Father, thank you for the blessings of your creation. Thank you for the harvest that is months away, and yet in anticipation of your goodness, your faithfulness, we rest in your love, we rest in your grace, we rest in your goodness, and we lift up before you our thankful hearts, and we offer, just as Jesus just blessed five loaves, which were small, two little fish, he just thanked you, Father. We thank you for our lives. Lord, we know that you are good, faithful, and you cannot but bless your people. Father, we thank you, and we bless you, Father. May our lives be a thanksgiving. May we look for every moment to thank you, Father, in our lives, with every step that we take. Every good step we take is a gift from you. So, Father, oh, how great a debt to grace we are. That song, Come Thou Fount. Father, we thank you. We bless you for this time. We bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to rise for the benediction. And you will notice that this is from Colossians chapter 3. A pretty powerful part of, of the uh, epistle, but let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thanksgiving in your hearts to God and your response and whatever we do in word